Ed Harris has been nominated for an Academy Award four times. His latest film, Appaloosa, may earn him similar acclaim. In it, Harris plays Virgil Cole, a marshal brought in to clean up a western town. Hush! You willing to die too? Of course he's willing to die. You think we do this kind of work because we're scared to die? You? Me? You afraid to die? I ain't afraid. Good, because you go first. And Ed Harris is with us live in the studio this morning. Congratulations. Thanks, Harry. Good to see you. Good so to you're be on here. vacation. You're reading a Robert B. Parker novel called Appaloosa. This is correct. Right. Yeah. And you're thinking what? Well, I'm just reading this book for enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And I, I read the first couple chapters between the, my character and the one that Viggo Mortensen played. Mm -hmm. And these two guys are itinerant lawmen who've been riding together for like a dozen years. And I just got tickled, man, because just the way they are together. And dialogue's great, the relationship, they have this kind of unspoken affection for one another. And before I finished the book, I called my agent and said, find out if this is available. Yeah. I just thought it'd be fun to try to bring this relationship to the screen. But even when a guy like you, of your stature, in terms of the movie business, says, hey, I want to make a, a Western, is Hollywood sitting there saying, oh yeah, let's line up for this. Here's a whole bucket of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it was pretty tough to set it up, you know. Um, but we finally wrangled enough funds to get it done properly. Yeah. Renee Zellweger, Viggo Mortensen, Jeremy Irons. Yep, my dad. Your dad, yeah. who plays a critical scene as a judge in this movie, and all shot on location in uh, New Mexico. New Mexico, yeah. The pictures, it, you know, it feels, it feels like a real Western. Well, you know, I wanted to, I didn't really want, I, I didn't want to modernize it. I really wanted to have it a, have a classic feel, you know, and we, we really scouted locations and real carefully and we had a great, really worked really hard on the town, the feeling of the town. I wanted mm -hmm. to feel the people in this time and space. And, you know, Dean Semler, who did the photography, and Valdemar Kalinowski, who was a production designer, yeah. did a great, great it's job. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got the great soundtrack and everything to, to, to match up yeah. with it. You just come from Toronto, from the film festival. Yeah. And I'm reading online, people, people liked it. It's like people got it. Because it's not just a western and you know it's got kind of quotation marks right? yeah it's kind of character driven piece you know mm -hmm. feel a bit like sally fields they liked it they liked <laughs> it you know but uh the, the premiere was great you know because yeah. it's got a lot of humor in it yeah. and uh people really picked it up picked up on that there's a line there's a point in the movie i kept thinking he gets he's so lucky because there's such some great lines oh, you get yeah. deliver yeah. and there's a line you deliver about renee zellweger about her being clean and <laughs> right. beautiful and everything else but, can't be repeated yeah right <laughs> on TV, and I thought, yeah. you must have died to be able to recite some of that yeah, stuff. Really, it was very fun. But you uh, co-wrote it as well, right? I mean, in terms of the yeah. adaptation. A, a good, really good buddy of mine, Robert Knott, who, who'd written a bunch of screenplays and never had anything produced, we, sh we partnered up and wrote it together. We started writing it January of 06, took maybe four or five months, yeah. you know. But the Parker's novel is, it, <laughs> it's written in a way, it kind of writes itself. I yeah. mean, he writes kind of, the chapters are kind of brief, you know. And, Robert's pretty funny. I, he came to the premiere, and I'm doing this Times talk later right. tonight or something. He sure. said, be sure to say, you owe it all to the towering novel by Robert <laughs> B. Parker. I said, okay, I will. Well, you got it. Well, at least I if got you don't it say it tonight, there. you said it here. Yeah. Ed Harris, what a pleasure. Congratulations on the film. And, Thanks, uh, Harry. You can see Appaloosa in a theater new year near you pretty soon. Right? Yeah. Yes. October 3rd, wide, 19th, New York, My. L.A.